Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing a Puerto Rico makeup tag. Eh, eh, eh. Ooh, I was so excited to film this video. So happy I got it out of my system. Trying out the new Colorina face compact. No, Colorina makeup studio products, foundation powder, and also contour palette. I am obsessed. I'm just gonna say that out there. I loved how these products came out. I was hoping for the best. Thank God I got the best and this highlight, I had a little struggle with it. I kind of doubted it because it's not kind of my tone. Y'all know I'm up for the gold tones, but y'all, I am shook. Estoy shook, mi gente. I'm not going to say anything else because I want you guys to enjoy watching the video, but yeah, I'm so happy I got this video for you guys. Also, I did a trying out new Mexican makeup tag, so I will have that up there for you guys to check out. And without further ado, if you guys want to see how I achieved this face right here using new Puerto Rican makeup products, then please keep on watching. You guys have no idea how excited I am about this because obviously, if you guys don't know, I am Puerto Rican, born there, mi isla del canto, borinque en coqui. That's my place, y'all. That's home. Love my Puerto Rico people. Boricua te la dai. I was actually getting my nails done and then my nail tech, Uña Baemi, go follow her, she did best. She was talking to me, she's like, girl, have you heard about Colorina? And um, there's a new makeup brand coming up in Puerto Rico. I was like, oh my God, no, I haven't. Um, and you guys, whenever I just saw it on Instagram, I was like intrigued. I was like shook. I was like, wow, I am so proud right now. Like literally, I am so excited about this. It is called the Colorina Makeup Studio Line. And they launched their selfie face found. This is swatches from earlier on. I'm a mess. I'm gross. Just ignore it. And they also launched a powder, which has been really, really popular, and everybody's talking about it. You can also find, you can only find it at Walmart, though. I tried ordering online. Obviously, I was gonna order so many things, but um, I had to get these literally from Puerto Rico. My cousin came over and bought them to me. So she got me the face powder, the foundation, and also. Um, the contour powder highlight blush and bronzer so I am just super super excited to try this out I know that a big amount of my following is Hispanic so I'm just all about this right now and I mean <laughs> it's Puerto Rican makeup like <laughs> so yeah I am super super excited I've had it in my room for like literally like two three weeks and I'm just like I haven't had time to sit down and film it but today is the day honey so uh, this is what the foundation looks like it's a small bottle for a foundation but i'm guessing it'll do the job what i am expecting out of this is really good full coverage and a really really nice match for like olive skin tones that's why i think it's gonna be great and i am in the color medium beige so excited i'm gonna go ahead and apply it into my mixing palette okay i think that's a lot i'm gonna push my weave back y'all know how this is if this makeup shooks me i'm literally going to throw up all right so i'm going in with my sigma 3d hd blender oh my god I'm so excited. It smells so good, guys. It reminds me of a scent, kind of like the one that Huda Beauty Foundation has. Nana, que brutal. Can we talk about the full coverage of this foundation, though? The thing is that I am self-tan right now, so it's not like my self-tan color, but it is my everyday color, for sure. Guys, I'm still going in with a little amount. Oh, am G. You guys, this foundation compares to so many high-end foundations that I own and it is exactly everything that I was hoping for it to be as well. This is like my kind of formula for foundation. The full coverage, glam look. It's also not very like dewy or luminous, but it still gives me some kind of glow and it's really easy to blend out with a blender. I am truly of freaking cest. I really wish that I could get more product, like concealers and stuff. I wish I could have done like a full face, but this is what I could get right now. So let me try. Let me know if you guys have tried this makeup before. If not, I'm sure a lot of you are gonna be like, "Oh my god, I want to try it." And I'm sure the price point is like ridiculous as well, like ridiculously cheap. My cousin said she got the foundation, the powder, and the contour powder for like twelve dollars. I said, "No freaking way!" Like. You're lying. All right, so I don't have concealer. I'm gonna apply some right now really quickly. Wow, my face looks so good, you guys. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and bake just a little bit underneath in my eyes. 
and I'm going to set the rest with the powder. Ahora vamos a ir con el polvo compacto en el color nativa 09. Okay, um, Loki, why is there an indent in my powder? But nothing to worry about. Oh, because with a little motita. That's why they call it over there. It's like a little sponge, but I don't like the sponge. But it's great for like everyday use so you can reapply or whatever. Pero voy a ir con una brocha. I'm going to be taking my hourglass brush. And this is what the powder looks like. Oh my god, the packaging and the font. It's just so cute. Ah. Oh. Cannot wait to use this. Y'all, my face is full coverage. Okay, honey? Like, I'm also gonna put some down my neck. I haven't used pressed powder, you guys, in a minute. Okay? But I'm totally living for this. Oh, yes, girl. Look at this face, though. How could you not be obsessed with this face? Okay, guys, what I'm gonna do is spray my face so that all the powders melt together. But so far, I have literally nothing bad to say about it. I mean... My face looks really even. The foundation is not blotchy. I'm gonna be taking my Wonder Beauty spray. Is that everything? Próximo tenemos la paleta de contorno. Tenemos el bronceador, el highlighter, el blush, y el bronceador. Yeah, don't come for me. I just I can express myself better in English. I mean, I'm full bilingual, but I gotta practice on my Spanish. Words. But y'all, this looks super, super promising. Let's do some swatching, shall we? So up here, we have the contour shade. It doesn't look too bad. It looks a little bit more like, it looks a little bit warm to me, but a little bit of ash in it. I don't know, I hope it's not like a pinkish um, contour. Up next, I'm gonna swatch the bronzer shade right over here. Ooh, that is beautiful, honey. Yes, I think I might dust that into my face as well. Up next, I'm gonna go ahead and swatch the highlighter right over here. Now, this highlighter, it's not a highlighter that I will wear on my face, Depend doesn't matter what brand it is. It's just not my kind of shade because it's so frosted and like white. But for today's video, obviously I'm gonna try it out, but I wish I had more of a golden highlighter, but that's just my opinion. And then up here we have the blush shade, which I definitely will wear a blush like this one. It's right up my alley. It's like the perfect pink for me. Oh, yeah. This is a, it's like a beautiful dark Barbie pink. And I feel like it goes perfect with my eyes. So I'm definitely going to love the blush for sure. Taking my Sigma Spotlight Duster F37. Gonna go in with the contour shade. Going to put that on my cheekbones. It's applying to my face very beautifully. It's not patchy, not streaky. The color is actually not bad. But I feel like you have to be careful with it because it is very, very pigmented. So it's better to start off with a little bit and then if you need more, build it up. But I feel like you can use it as a contour and also like a bronzer shade. Because the bronzer in this palette is more of a shimmery one. Oh yeah, this is like really pigmented. So go in with a light hand. But it is a beautiful color. Like I really, really love this bronzer shade. I didn't know what to expect because it swatched kind of weird in my hand. But I never really swatched bronzers, so I don't know why I did that. And then I'm gonna take a little bit and also run that onto my jawline. I am gonna take a little bit of the bronzer shade, the shimmery one, and kind of run that over my bronzer a little bit. Not on my uh, forehead, but on my cheeks to give it like a little bit of a glow. Just a little bit though. Yo, I really like the bronzer. I've, I will use it a lot. Now time for blush. This has like a lot of follow though, so you have to top off everything, but what doesn't have follow, let's be honest. She is pigmented. I'm gonna go in with this big buffer brush from Morphe just to buff everything, making sure it's not too harsh. For the highlight, I really hope I like it because I really wanna love it. I just never wear highlights. And we'll see how pigmented it is as well. Ooh, she is reflective. Shine and honey. Yeah, I love the pigmentation and how it goes onto the skin really softly. I really like the formula. Wow, that's that's a really good pigmented highlight. Even though it's a really light highlighter for me, like the shade, I like that it doesn't give me like an overcast, making my face look a little bit gray. Yo, I like the highlight, not gonna lie. Um, I don't know how much I will wear it, but if things comes to worse and I have to use this palette and I have nothing else, I will not be mad at it. I mean, I like it on my nose a lot. I think I just have to get used to wearing like different tones of highlight because y'all, when it comes to my highlight, I stick to like three that I love. I never switch things around, but it actually doesn't look bad at all. And I feel like now for the holidays, it will be super nice to wear like a more brighter, more whiter highlight. I am gonna go in and guys, I really, really like that shade. Wow, I honestly didn't think the highlight would win me over, but it totally did. I'm gonna take the highlight and I'm gonna play that in the inner corners of my eyes. Brow bone is always a must. So that is pretty much the entire face and all the products that I have. 
to try out i am so sad that, that i don't have any more because i feel like i would have so much fun reviewing and trying out more of the products but my mom is actually in puerto rico right now so i'm gonna see if she can grab me like a lot more like blushes or brushes or whatever they have lip liners lipsticks mascaras eyeshadows um and hopefully she can get that in for me but i'm gonna go ahead and finish the rest of my face and then i'll be right back well guys eso fue todo por este video espero que les gustó dale thumbs up subscribe y dale play i really hope you guys loved it and of course i will have the products down below some of these you can't find online just yet but i hope that you can i'm gonna do my best to find out for you guys if not have somebody from puerto rico send them over to you if you live in the states so yeah I will have information down there for you guys. Also, let me know what other videos you'd like for me to do trying out other countries' makeup. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram to keep up with me. And I have so many new fun videos coming for the holiday season. Can't wait to show you guys everything. I love you guys so much. Muchos besitos y abrazos. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!